York Schlagheck. The one and only. Hello, welcome to my channel. Good morning. Yeah, I'm enjoying my, my bike rides again. It's uh, like today, the weather is nice. It's very calm. It's still chilly in the morning. That's why I'm layered up like a winter ride, but I'm expecting the temperature to rise like way above maybe 10 degree mark. And later on in the afternoon, I think it's going up to 18 or 19. So yeah, it's quite the change. I'm going to try to show you the highlights, the nicest spots of my bike ride. If you're in Edmonton, you can start this ride from your doorstep or you can find your way either to Rundle Park from where you can take the footbridge across to Strathcona Park or Strathcona Science Park. From there all you have to do is keep following the Trans Canada Trail. They'll take you along Petroleum Way past some refineries and eventually turn left to follow Sherwood Drive. Once you're that far, just keep following the trail. so bright it's a beautiful day though the temperature is warming up just fine I don't know if you can hear me because uh, there is wind when I ride but it's actually very calm that's why I had uh, I'm very grateful for this day because I can experiment with my new drone I get some footage that uh, I never thought I could get I also found out that <laughs> it's best to keep a line of sight with the drone at all times because once you lose it, like, how would I say this? I still have to get used to using those maps that are on the app. They're very small on the phone, but you can always keep track of your drone that way. However, when you set the, when you take off, the drone remembers where it took off so that's what's called the home point and when uh, you cycle away from that with the intention of uh, getting the drone somewhere else you either have to update the home point which I haven't successfully done yet I haven't uh, figured out quite how to do that that's one thing I definitely need to educate myself on need to practice and uh, yeah, so I had to, I was really excited to get some aerial footage of me riding. And then I had to cycle back to where the drone took off, return it to home because to be honest, I had no idea where it was. It's nerve wracking, I admit that. But that's all part of the learning process I believe I just hope this learning process I mean I'm being really careful but my first learning process with the uh, holy stone you can see that on, a, on an old video that cost me my drone and that was a drone that was under $200 Canadian well this one here is not <laughs> so I don't want to lose it titled this video the perfect bike ride because you have trails following it all the way you do not have to share the road with cars which is a major advantage when it comes to riding your bike in Canada
Okay, here I'm at a point where eventually the uh, city of Edmonton and the trail, uh, what is it called? River Valley Alliance. They're planning on building a bridge across the river and it's going to be for cyclists and pedestrians only, which is going to be fantastic. Over on the other side, there's a trail that I showed you before in one of my previous videos. And on this side, there's a nature side trail, a riverside nature trail that you can follow all the way to the town of Fort Saskatchewan. So I'm quite excited about this connection that's going to happen. I missed the online presentation, but I, I will inform myself about the timeline of this. I hope this is going to go in ASAP because this is a great area to ride your bicycle. You don't have to share the road. And as you probably found out by now, sharing the road is not my favorite thing. If you're like me and you missed the online presentation about this footbridge, you can watch the video and I'll post a card in the upper right hand corner of my video right now. And if you are in Edmonton and it is before April the 29th, 2021, you can also participate in the online survey. A lot of ice and water is going to flow down this river before the bridge will finally be built in 2024. But now, Let's explore the Riverside Nature Trail. It's the sun, but it's a beautiful scenery. When you're riding down the trail, you would never know how close the river actually is because it's hidden behind the trees. Need a quiet place to unwind? This trail is perfect for it. North Saskatchewan River in mid-April. I will try to post another video when everything is green because you'll be surprised how different it will look. Riverside Nature Trail. If you haven't heard of it, 
it's just uh, well east east of Edmonton just follow the river mind you you can't you actually have to go to Sherwood Park to take Sherwood Drive and then continue on straight that'll get you to this trail however in the future what is planned for this trail is to connect it to Edmonton's trail which are on the other side right now who knows maybe the trail is going to go all the way through at some point but what is planned for the near future that I know of is that bridge that I was telling you about and that would be super awesome this is the point where I turn around look at me I'm at the river and it's really truly beautiful I could like make a picnic here spend the whole day maybe that's bar what Barb and I should do in the next couple of days or so but I don't have any food with me I'm running out of water I got probably an hour to ride home and I'll see you in the next video and if you want to see more videos like this one of course you know what to do subscribe to my channel and in the meantime watch some of my older videos I I worked hard to put them all up here well it was fun let me put it that way I had a lot of fun but put a lot of time into it all right I'm ending today's ride in proper fashion with peanut butter cookie I love those you can go with it coffee Ah, it's hot.